Alec Bradley, Reserve, Connecticut. Hey, Brady Mabel Kane, this is Garblog. Okay, so, unlike other light Alec Bradley offerings, this one's an actual labeled Connecticut. I'm not usually too crazy about Connecticut, but every so often you find one that's actually good. This one actually has, believe it or not, a triple. Yeah, triple cap. It looks almost like a quad cap, seriously. There's like a lot going on in there. Well, anyway, hopefully this one will be good and not follow the pattern of other entries, which for whatever reason, I've had serious issues wanting to stay lit. I'm also going to yank some of this bandage off here just because that this is a little much. Keep hearing something rustling in the leaves, and I think it's just birds. Straight out the gate. Let's see, toasted marshmallow. A little light, a little sweet, no spice. Creamy, very creamy. Like I said, toasted marshmallow. Not bad. Good start. Okay, so I'll go ahead and get this uh, up to the first inch, see if anything wakes up. Okay. So far, one inch in, no spice. Everything's very smooth, very creamy. Has a kind of um, very kind of toasted marshmallow. There's occasionally something else in the background. Oh, it's almost like a gingerbread kind of thing, especially in the retro hill. So far, burn seems to be all right. Just hoping that this actually ends up burning all the way through instead of having to relight and touch it and relight like that to do for the last couple of Ellen Bradleys. Also, I kind of noticed something. If anybody noticed uh, a couple of recent videos being a little lackluster in the resolution department, uh, I figured out what's causing that. Turns out, uh, somehow, image stabilization was turned on, which doesn't allow me to record anything higher than 1080. Why? I don't know. But I fixed that. So, hopefully this video will look a little sharper than they usually do. But, you know, I'm going to get this down to the halfway point, see if anything wakes up, changes, or intensifies. It's kind of striking me like this is going to be one of those ones that builds as you go. So, we'll see how it turns out. Okay, so, we're about the halfway point. Whatever so far have been pretty consistent. Smooth, creamy. A little toasted marshmallow. I want to say kind of like a cinnamon baking kind of gin, kind of gin, um, yeah. almost, almost a graham crackery gingerbread kind of thing. Very subtle on that one. Yeah, the uh, kind of gingerbread graham cracker kind of, kind of flavor has more in the nose. Overall though, yeah, light baking spice, smooth, creamy toasted marshmallow. That's the big hit I'm getting off of this one. Also seeing how many cracks are in this, I think I need to adjust my humidity. Because uh shouldn't be doing this. So far though, been burning excellently. Haven't had any touch-ups, haven't had to relight anything like that. So I don't know what's going on with some of the previous ones that I smoked, but uh, this one's been holding up like a champ. So I'm gonna get this down to the uh, absolute nub here and give a final update from there. Well, that looks like a nub. Okay, so flavors have been pretty consistent all throughout. Smooth, creamy, toasted marshmallow, a little bit of baking spice. Not bad. It does kind of build up an in intensity as you smoke. 
So, that said, drink pairings, any good coffee, any good whiskey. Overall, not a bad little Connecticut. If I were inclined to buy a box of Connecticut's, this would definitely be a uh, higher ranking on the list. It does have flavor. Flavors are bold, present, and there. But the flavors that are present are smooth, mellow, and nice. Burn has been fantastic. Overall, good cigar. Getting to that point now where it's uh, starting to get dark, like in the early afternoon. <laughs> so uh, I kind of wish I was on a shooting range and had like something with like a big old muzzle brake just to, you know, blast my nice couple of fireballs just to punctuate everything at the end. Unfortunately, I don't. And this is just a big open field out in the middle of nowhere. So, <laughs> that said, not much else to say about the cigar other than uh, if the price is right, definitely check them out, especially if you're into Connecticut's. If you're not particularly crazy about Connecticut's, eh, this probably isn't going to change your mind, but if you get one in a bundle like I did, it's not the worst pick. Well, that said, not much else to say. Other than definitely check them out. Beyond that, that's pretty, yeah, like I said, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Alright, so. If you like this review or any other review, like, subscribe, leave a comment, let me know if you had a different experience. Beyond that, check out my Twitch channel, Sunday to Friday night, 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. If you can't make it live, it will show up on YouTube. And I will eventually remember to link that on my page somewhere. Anyway, that's all I got for this one. I'll see you next time.